So I'm doing something very, very, very rare, and that's going to the dining hall. Because I'm going to keep my promise, and I'm going to go to the dining hall as much as possible. And it's starting right now. Also, I don't have an umbrella right now, because Jay, last time we went to Hannah's place, forgot my umbrella in the car. And I have not picked it up ever since. So now, I'm stuck without an umbrella. It really sucks, but uh, I have to survive without it for a little bit. So I'm going to put the camera away so it doesn't get too water damaged. Alright, I'll see you guys at the dining hall. Why? What are you gonna do? You just move to the side. No, move you're gonna to hit the, me. Move, move to the side. Move to the side. Ow! What is that? Why is it so heavy? It's a bag of orange. He's like off him right now. Ow! So I'm currently at Jay's after the dining hall, and we've been here since like I think like two o'clock, and we're just playing Smash. They're in the other room right now, playing some Smash. And I think I'm gonna come over later to just hang out, so that should be fun. I don't know if I can pick up the vlog camera after that, so yeah. Let's go see what they're doing. I think Dave is getting cooked again. What? Wait, why did that bounce off? It's not bounced off, you just did directional input. No, I didn't. I went straight up. It went like. Okay, I was like doing. I was doing good there though. That was good. Right. Oh, what's up, bro? Did you get Hi. Cooked? Did you get cooked? No, I didn't. You didn't. No, I got the one sock. We did. He only did like sixty percent more damage than me. Okay, so I am back from Jay's. It was a long night, and if you can see the time right here, it is. Come on. Three. three. I think someone's peeking in the bathroom right now. That's disgusting. Um, but it's 3.33 right now, AM. Um, and I did not film enough for the vlog. That's not okay. I just, I, ugh, it's disgusting. Someone's actually really dying in there. Um, I didn't want to film too much just cause it was a party and you're not really supposed to film at parties. I don't recommend ever doing that, but I had a lot to drink. Um, it was really fun. I didn't throw up. I, I usually feel like throwing up every time I drink, but thankfully I didn't. And actually, if you can see this right here, I kind of let my girlfriend draw on me. And also let a lot of people draw on me. And I'll show you my tattoos I got from tonight. I took a shower, so some of it might be like a little bit drawn off, but let me see if I can like kind of show it in the mirror. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know if there's anything like, you know, not meant for the vlog, like rated R on my back, but that's kind of what my back looks like right now. It's a war zone on there. Um, oof, overexposed. But yeah, that's basically how my night went. Um, it was a lot of fun. I also got to talk to Minjun after. I don't usually get to talk to the guy. It's always really nice to reconnect with him after a while. It's like when I reconnect with him, it's like almost nothing, nothing changed. It's like old times, and that's why I really value my relationship with that guy. I don't think he's watching this vlog, but if he is, I appreciate you a lot. And if you're okay with it, I'm gonna talk about what we talked about in the vlog, uh, what we talked about on the phone just now about you know relationships and whatnot. Because you got you mentioned something very, very, very insightful that. I want to share with the vlog and that's basically how you shouldn't settle for less and you shouldn't be feeling like you're forcing anything or you shouldn't really feel like you're trying to learn a new love language for someone because I feel like a lot of times in the past with my past crushes and whatnot I always tried to settle for less or I tried to settle and change my personality for them so they would like me and that's such a dangerous thing to do because um, I feel like I should be more, you know, aware of what I want in a person and I feel like, you know, when I actually find someone I like, which I do right now, it's my girlfriend. I truly, truly love her a lot and that's the person I, you know, would not mind, you know, dedicating my time and patience and money and whatnot to because 
when I find someone I truly do care about and want to spend a lot of my time with, I'm going to know that right from the start for me. And for her, that's what it is. I just feel like right from the start, it's like I want to spend the time and money and patience on her because I feel like she's so worth it and there isn't really anyone else that I could really see myself committing that much of myself to. And that's what Minjun really emphasized is how I should really be make, being careful about, you know, how much love that I'm giving. Or not how much love I'm giving, but he's he mentioned how I'm the type of person to give a lot of love to the per, like to whoever I'm dating or interested in. And that's a great thing, but I should find someone that's okay with that and that shouldn't feel like I'm love bombing them in any sort of way. It's important, it's very, very, very important for me to feel like I am using my time wisely. That's the biggest thing he emphasized, that I should feel like all the time I'm investing and all the patience and money and everything that I'm doing should feel like it's worth it and that I'm not wasting my time. And I'm, there's not a second where I'm questioning it because the second I'm questioning it means there's probably something wrong and I should probably you know, go elsewhere to find someone where I feel like everything is worth it. So that was something really insightful for me because that's not really something I'm used to, you know, thinking about in relationships. I'm usually just very, just, if I like this person, I like this person, you know? And there's not a lot of thought going into it. I don't usually, not overcomplicate my emotions, but I try not to involve too many thoughts with it, which is dangerous, but also at the same time, I think it's helped me find a lot of great people. But right now, I'm really happy. I don't want to, you know, make this seem like this is me trying to, you know, diss my girlfriend anyway. That's literally the complete opposite of what I'm trying to do. I don't feel that way at all, um, but I'm just very happy where I am. And that was definitely uh, some food for thought for me and a breath of fresh air because a perspective that I've never really thought about and he gave me another perspective and that's why I really like talking to him. He always gives me these new perspectives that I never really think about or some perspectives that I don't sometimes want to think about either. He's my voice of reason. I'm sorry, Minjin, if you watch this. I'm just gushing on about you right now. Um, so he's such a good friend. And Jay's great, too. I love Jay. Don't, don't get me wrong. I love Jay, too. And I talk about, you know, these similar things with Jay, too. But right now, I won't talk about Minju because I feel like I don't talk about him enough in the vlog. And I know he, <laughs> I know he gets very uncomfortable when I talk about, you know, when I show him on the vlog. That's why I haven't really featured him too much. And I don't think I'm going to feature him anytime soon just because... He's very private about his life, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I am uh, quite tired and I should not be staying up too late right now because tomorrow I'm actually going to a school concert for Pichu Praskals. That's such a, such a cool opportunity and I'm really looking forward to that and I don't wanna be too tired for that. That's around seven o'clock, but before that, I gotta work out, do some homework, and yeah, there's a lot of housekeeping chores I need to do. In order to do that, I'm gonna need to be in my tip-top shape and not be tired and sleep all the way till 2 p.m. I'm not saying I did that, but I don't want that to happen. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog nonetheless. I know it was also me just talking in this room again, but I'll see you tomorrow. It's gonna be very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. I look forward to it because I love Peachy Rascals. If you guys know what they are, um, you'll understand why I'm so excited. But anyways, see ya.